much love is in the air this time of year and all week long we're looking at finding love. Yes, tonight we are looking into what it's like looking for love and trying to date in 2023. And Channel 3's Caitlin Francis talked with a dating expert and a woman trying to navigate dating in a digital world. Looking for love in 2023 could be as easy as picking up your phone. Dating apps have become the norm. And professional matchmaker Maria Avgatidis says they're not going anywhere. Now to not be online is to not have an email. It's the equivalent. But she also says people are literally tired of swiping. We're currently experiencing extreme dating fatigue wave, you know, where people just don't want to spend any more time online. They just want to go out. Laura Thompson is a full-time nurse going back to school and dating. She says getting off the apps is sometimes hard to do. I think it's a lot easier to dismiss people and just you kind of move on to the next person. It's like those dopamine hits when you're swiping. But people do have success online. A lot of it. I think it's like something like more than 60% of relationships started online. That's digital dating. But for Laura Thompson, she knows both digital and what experts call analog dating. And she says there are pros and cons to both. The analog dating, it, your circle can get pretty small versus you know, the digital dating, your circle expands. You get to see people, meet people who you wouldn't necessarily meet versus like if they're just in a different town, if they're in a different area, you know, you can expand your circle a little bit better that way. Matchmaker Maria says there are other aspects of dating that have changed as well. She says those deal breakers have also changed. Prior to 2016, the number one deal breaker in dating was always smoking. Now smoking is number two for most people. In 2021, the next uh, big deal breaker was, are you vaccinated? And it wasn't just us. Um, OkCupid, okay Hinge, a lot of online dating apps started coming out with um with emojis that showed if you were vaccinated or not. So that became the new deal breaker. Now in 2023, and this actually started in the summer of 2022, the, the new deal breaker, and it goes across the spectrum, is uh, your uh, stance on a woman's right to uh, a full health care. And as people get more comfortable coming out of the pandemic, more casual dates have taken over dinner and cocktails. And if you're one of the people swiping for a soulmate, experts say, put the phone down, hold your friends accountable and go out. I think it's going to get better. I think part of it is, you know, when you go out with friends and everything, I think people do tend to just stick with their friend group. We don't like go off and mingle with other people at the bar like you used to. So... But I think coming out of the pandemic, maybe that'll start to get better again. I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.